but what we're trying to do is if we're gonna try to prove similarity with side, 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 I don't mean the actual lengths are equal to each other. I don't mean these lengths are equal to each other because if those lengths were equal to each other, side, side, side would be similarity, but it would also be congruency, right? And we're not trying to prove congruency. We know the proof of congruency, the side lengths have to be exactly equal. So when I'm talking about side, 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 what I'm talking about is the proportion of the sides relating to each other, all right? So let's just call this, um, so what I'm trying to say is, let's, you know that this side length is proportionate to that side length. So, 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 so what I could do here is I could write a proportion. If the proportion of AB to DE was congruent to the proportion of BC to EF, which was equal to the proportion of CA over FD, Remember we talked about proportions, writing ratios? If we can say the ratios for all three of these are equal to each other, then we have a similar triangle. And well, let me give you an example. Let's say I had 6, 10, or 6, 8, and 10. Right? And then I said this was 3, 4, and 5. Right? And so if we were going to do this the way I was explaining it, I'd have 6 over 3 is equal to 8 over 4, which is equal to 10 over 5. Are those all equivalent ratios? Yes. Yeah, so if you can determine that all three sides have all equivalent ratios, they're not equal in measurement, but they have equivalent ratios between their sides, we have similar triangles. Okay? And that's that one. <clears throat>